money on, on this one. Marunde is so lightning. Tire flip, and he's just falling behind Marius now. I guess that's no surprise. Marius on home soil will just turn it up that one extra notch. Will they be first and second? They're chasing the time at 30.64 by Toycek and Pudzianowski. 25 seconds. It's going to be tight with Marunde, though. What's it going to be? 30.18. Well, it is. It's four tenths of a second quicker than pole number two, Toycek. So Marunde does get second place, and that's a good result for him. And it's a result for him, too. Elbowing women and children out the way for Jesse's T-shirt. Now, oh, this guy is a huge character. I think a, a favorite of the ladies as well. Well, Marius Pudzianowski takes the victory again. Yet more maximum points. As for Dave Ostland down the bottom there, I think he'd rather forget the tire flip. Now, you have to remember the last event, it cuts to six. So everybody above the yellow line is safe for the moment. This is starting to be a great comeback. Well, I think only Superman will be Super Mario's today. I don't have his kryptonite with me, so all I can do is my best. And uh, hey, I'm happy to get second to Mario's. He's the greatest. It's a lot of things you didn't know about me. Acrobat, strongman. Now let's get back to the action. Next event is the Hercules Hold, and it's very aptly named because holding on to these cars is difficult when the brakes are off, that's for sure. Now, Dave Ostland, you've got hands like a bunch of bananas there. Surely this is a good event for you. Yeah, it's going to have to be. You know, I need the points right now. It's uh, sometimes good events, sometimes real bad, but you know, i got to hold on as long as I can today. Well, a good time in this, probably around about 30 seconds okay. Okay. for the Vulcan Hercules Ready. Hold. Well, Austin's taking the strain. You can see there, you try and back the cars down as far as possible. A real disaster if the cars aren't at full stretch because then they'll start to roll down the hill. And of course, the momentum picks up and it just tears straight out of your hands. Ready! Ready, boys! 23.18 for Ostland. I think probably he wanted better than that. And that brings up Michael Staroff of the Ukraine. Staroff a lot shorter, so he doesn't have to bend over like Austin there to keep his arms straight. What a hard guy he is. And he's got a time to chase at least. That always helps. 23 seconds, he'll have someone shouting out the time. So he knows if he goes ahead of Austin, he's at least got a couple of points. But he's done that, so he's into the lead. And to make this that little bit heavier, they've added four people in each car. But he's past the 30 seconds. This is all about top places now when you're doing this well. 36.51 for Michael Staroff. Is your time good enough to win in Hercules Hold? No, I'm sure it's not enough for, for win because there are a lot of guys who is very good in this. Uh, in this event, I hope it will be enough to be in the first three or first four, and I, I hope I, I will be still in first four for, for the final. Well, next out is Yanni Viertnen. He has claims to the best grip in the world. Marius Pudzianowski, I'm sure, would like to think he doesn't. Well, these guys haven't had a grip contest against each other in quite a long time. Mouth-watering prospects here. Who has the greatest grip in the world? Will it be Yanni or will it be Marius? Yanni, of course, a much bigger guy, much longer fingers and bigger hands, but Marius just so powerful in everything he does. See the pain kicking in now, and he's trying to pull his shoulders in there, just offload some of the pain into his traps. Shoulders feel like they're about to pop here as the sinew in each and every joint just gets pulled. Oh, he's going to get over 50 seconds, but can he make the minute? That would be unbelievable with his weight. Agony, agony as every second goes by 54.97. Hey, Yanni, have you got the greatest grip in the world then? Uh, maybe, <laughs> but still, it's, I'm, I'm not happy because I know it, I, I can keep this one minute only 55 seconds i'm not happy and marius can he do this 
I hope no, <laughs> but <laughs> we'll never know. He's Terminator. He's crazy. Thanks for honesty. <laughs> Mariusz, Jani does a great time. Can you beat this? Yes, I know. I know. I, I know. Uh, Jani have a great time. Maybe I also great. Uh, watch. Only two minutes. Watch. Who win? Well, next out it was Ravis Vidzis. The best he could do was 19.23 seconds. Nick Matulin did a whole lot better, 38.41. Toy check, hole number two. Couldn't quite do as much as Nick Matulin, but managed 36.44. And that brings out Jesse. Marunde. Okay, no, okay, yeah. And Jesse, Ready. a bit like Marius, just doesn't have weaknesses. Fantastic at every event. Five. And listen to this crowd. Absolutely loving Jesse Marunde. Almost adopting him as one of their own. Look at that. Hey, ice cool. You just can't understand how much pain he's going through at the moment. What is the time to beat? 55. 55 seconds of Vertinen is the time to beat. 30. Oh, it's kicking in now. 35. Absolute agony. Of course, the worry is you'll start tearing the skin on your hands. The knurling on the handles is so harsh. Well, that was a great time by Jesse. Not quite as fast as Yanni Vertinen, but Yanni really needed a huge result there if he's going to make it into the top six in the final event. Remember, we're cutting two guys for the power stairs. Of course, he still has the stones as well to pull back points on. Uh, who's going to be the lucky recipient this time? <laughs> I think he'll appreciate that. Oh, he's taking his own top off. There we go, that's a fair trade. I don't think it'll fit somehow. Now oh, this crowd, they do love their strong man in Poland. Well, it just about fits. <laughs> I think it's, it's probably a little tighter on Jesse than our Polish friend. Jesse, the crowd are loving you here. You're working them into a frenzy. <laughs> hey, we're, we're all having fun. I'm glad they are. I'm having fun too. I, I love this event. It's got to be the most painful event in Strongman. And you know, pain's my homie. You knew that, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was brutal stuff. But what do you think of Marius going now? Is he is he the king of this? Uh, Super Marius? He, he's, you never know. He's, it's either going to win or he's going to come close to winning. So here he goes. Ready? So the time to beat 54.97 seconds by Yanni Virtanen. Marunde sitting in second, 41.75 seconds. And it has to be said, after three victories out of three events, Marius just looks like a steam train that is impossible to derail. And he's gone halfway to Yanni, and you can see the pain's kicking in. Look how wide his legs are, trying to get very low. Make his arms much flatter to the car implements. He's having a conversation with his coach there. He's shouting the time at him. It's very loud here. The crowd really going nuts. Ten seconds more for Marius. If he's going to do it, he's gone past Jesse, but no. Yanni yeah, Virtanen takes the victory. 47, 47. And for Marius, it's second place. And you can see he tried every single bit of his body wanting to win every okay. event, but no, just couldn't do it. That's the first hurdle he's fell at. Well, is it our friend again? He's fighting for it, that's for sure. <laughs> Another lucky fan. So let's have a quick look at the results then. 54.97 seconds for Vietnam, but look at the terrible result for Ravis Vitsis. He's going to struggle to make it into the top six. In fact, he's now sitting in seventh. The penultimate event is a classic. It's the stones. Five stones weighing up to this big guy here, 180 kilograms. I'm not sure if anybody's going to do it, but let's just have a quick word here. Guys, I realize tension's building. Jesse, can anyone manage all five? 
Yeah, there's no tension. <laughs> We're all having fun here. Me and Dave are just discussing how easily he's going to place that up onto the pedestal to get some points between uh, me and my competitors to help me out. Well, Dave, that, that's good of you for doing that to him. Uh, do, you, do you not want to win this one yourself? No, I want to win, but I mean, Jesse's going to know the time to beat, so, you know, he'll, he'll go for it because he's in contention right now for the top, and, you know, I'm just hanging on by a thread right now. Maybe I'll make the cut, but I'll need a lot of help. Dave is too modest. He's the best stone lifter in America right now, uh, without a doubt. So if anybody can load that stone, it's Dave. I'm counting on you to do it, bro. Good luck, guys. <laughs> okay, boys. Dave Are Austin on the right. Travis Fitzis of Latvia on the left. Stand Both up, of these please. guys Stand need up. huge Stand points up. here. Okay. Ready. Uh, both staring down the barrel of being cut for the final event. Eight becomes six. And at the moment, it's Dave Austin who's in the lead in this stone lifting competition. And this is lightning fast. Well, the graphic there getting a little confused. It's four stones in 12.5 seconds. Fidzis in 16.2. So if no one gets it up, then Austin will take the victory. But Ravis Fidzis, it's tortoise in the hair stuff as Fidzis. 25.79 seconds. Ravis, was that the best you could do? Oh, yeah. I was very concentrated. And I need, I need best time. I need good time. And I make all. You see what I do. I'm a young boy. I need a good place. People, help me. Okay. Oh, what Are you a ready? Fantastic ah! result for Vincis. Puts the pressure on the next two guys, Toychek and Starov. They know they have to put in a good result here if they're going to make it. And Starov is normally incredibly fast at the stones, but being beaten by Toychek at the moment. This is a big surprise for me. I guess it's that home field advantage. What's wrong with Staroff? It's all gone wrong for him. And at the moment, it'll be Staroff getting cut from the final event if he doesn't sort something out here. And Toysek's done it. Five stones, just a little slower than Vidzis. Are you, you unhappy? No, I'm disappointed very much. I, it was unlucky because I have uh, uh, not injury, yes, you know, on the stones, my biceps. Uh, Your hamstring cramped. Yeah, yes, uh, and then I couldn't lift this 155 stone. It's it's very, it's just unluck, and I'm, I don't know what to say. Just no comments. Are you unhappy with Ravis going to final? <laughs> I'm happy for him. I hope he will make a good result in the last event. Jesse Marundi, look at that, the first stone up in under a second. That's ludicrous. Surely Jesse could go into the lead here again, head of Ravis Vidzis. That time, 25.79 is what he's chasing, and he's got over 10 seconds in which to do it. Well ahead of Nigma Tulin, the Russian here. Dave Austin did say that stone is rather slippy, that fifth stone on the right-hand side, and Marunde seems to be struggling as well. Oh, look at this. Nick Matulin's going to sneak ahead. Who's going to get it up first? Nick Matulin, the Russian. That's a huge surprise. That's twice now in head-to-heads, Marunde and Nick Matulin. The Russian got the better of him. Now, the two men that have won the world's strongest man competition. Of course, Marius has won it twice and looking like he's struggling with a little stomach problem there. Yes. And Yanni Bernard up first in the stones. Those back problems of old seem to have gone now. Oh, big mistake there. A little slip and Pudzianowski comfortably into the lead remember Vitzis's time 25.79 what's it gonna be 20.2 seconds and Pujanowski takes yet another victory but poor old Vertnan it'll only be four stones for him Marius is this a bad injury no injury only today is too hot and a lot of cramp every events now cramp you, you have won almost every event. It's a great day for you, do you think? Uh, yes, of course. Today is a great day for me. And you finish now with Power Stairs? And this is another good event, yeah? No, Power Stairs is a good, good event for me. And uh, 
I hope we know so. Well, Marius could go for a beer now because he's done enough to win this competition with just one event to go. And he had another victory then in the Stones. But for Michael Staroff and Dave Oslin, we say goodbye. Welcome in Super Series in Poland. This is my country. It's the final event. Very fitting, gladiatorial style, head to head. It's called the Power Stairs, and you have to lift these three weights up to the top. First weight, 225 kilos. The last weight, 275. And after nine events today, this is going to be a killer. 12 became eight, which is now about to become six for the Power Stairs. Yanni Vertnan and Ravis Vidzas, fifth equal at the moment. Yanni Vertnan qualified back in LA a couple of weeks ago for the world's strongest man, so it's not so important for him. But Ravis Vidzas, he's desperate for one of those top four slots if he's going to go to the worlds in China later in the year. Yanni, of course, won it in 2000, the world's strongest man title, and that was in South Africa. Very tall man, Yanni. Much taller than Ravis Vidzis, but Ravis is wearing some Spice Girl shoes if you check them out. They're about two inches thick in the heels, which has to help lift these weights up. Makes up for lack of height. Of course, he is about one meter ninety over six foot two, so he's hardly short when compared to the average man. So we go on to the final weight, 275 kilos for Vertinen and Ravis Vidzis. Looks like he just about might do this. Five steps, one more to go. Over 600 pounds in old money. Another inch is all he needs. Nah, not today. That is just too heavy. So will Elbris Nigmatulin throw it away? Will Ravis Vidzis capture fourth? Ready! Now, Nigma Tulin and Tojcek, both of these guys have not yet qualified for the world's strongest man, so they need their top four slot. Tojcek sitting second equal at the moment with Marunde on 25 points. Nigma Tulin back on 23. Tojcek is lightning quick here, faster than Nigma Tulin. And Marius Pujanovsky coming over for a little help to his compatriot, cheering him on there. Marius would love to have a friend and training partner at the world's strongest man help keep his head later in the year to try and win that third title. But who knows the way Tojcek is lifting these. Maybe he'll be the world's strongest man. 43.16 seconds, the best so far. Now, Jesse, one event to go and you're tied in second. And let's be honest here. You are ill, aren't you? And you also, you lost your bag at the airport. Uh, the, have these things affected you? I'm a strong man, not a whiner, so uh, I don't make excuses. Uh, fact is, the time to beat for me is 40 seconds. If I beat that, I'm in second place. And if I don't, all excuses aside, I wasn't strong enough. But Jesse, please, you're, you're being very brave here, but you've been to the hospital this afternoon already. Is, uh, that surely is, is, is playing on your mind. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit, but... Even on my bad day, I'm still strong. <laughs> Marius Pujanovsky against Jesse Marunde. <laughs> Jesse said earlier that he thinks Marius is the greatest strongman that ever lived. Now look at this. This is ridiculously fast. 6.93 seconds with that first weight, 225 kilos. And Jesse has now hit the stumbling block. He's not enjoying that 250 kilo weight, and Marius is just carrying on like it's the same as the first one. Remember, that's an extra 50 kilos in weight, and fatigue is kicking in. What's the time? 28.56 seconds. He's beaten Tojcek's time. And in fact, I think that could be a world record. I think the best for this is 35 seconds ever. Of course, that's done by Marius. So he's only taken his own world record, but Jesse, now he's not going to beat Tojcek. Well, maybe he can. He needs to do something special here. He's sitting second equal with Tojcek. Of course, Jesse has qualified for the Worlds already. He did that back in L.A. Hey, Marius, was that good for you? Yes, of course. Very good. Perfect. A new record? Yes, I hope. Uh, 
7 seconds down. Uh, last time my record is 34, 5, now 27. Amazing, well done today. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Work in the crowd there. Jesse, a fantastic finish. You tried your best, but uh, can you do better next time in Sweden? Well, I certainly plan to. It's back to the drawing board. I got 24 hours to rest, and it's back in training. I got a crew of the best training partners in the world at home waiting for me, and they're fresh. And when I get home, they're not going to cut me any slack. So it's back to the drawing board. Bigger and better things coming up. I think he's offering your shorts back to you. <laughs> well, if you include the qualifier, Marius Putinowski has won nine out of ten events in Poland, five out of six in this Nautilus Grand Prix, and just destroyed the field. He only dropped one point overall. Slavomir Toycek in second, Jesse Marunde third. And Elbrus Ligmatulin takes fourth to get the final place for China. Well, that's it from here in Poland. And Marius Pudzianowski certainly didn't disappoint. I think I'm going to go hit the gym anyway. Marius, will we see you in Sweden? Yes, of course. See you next time in Sweden. I show you next time in Sweden who is strong. Till next time, goodbye.